हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय क्लास टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट स्टैटिकली डिटरमिनेट एंड इनडिटरमिनेट स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट्स बिगन स्टैटिकली डिटरमिनेट एंड इनडिटरमिनेट स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चर्स structure is generally classified into two categories as determinate and indeterminate structure or redundant structure for analysis of structure to find forces based on criteria discussed below at first you have to know what is determinate structure and what is indeterminate structure definition of statically determinate structure structure which can be solved by using equation of statical equilibrium are known as statically determinate structure now what is statically equilibrium statical equilibrium equation in the previous tutorial we discussed this the equations are three that is summation of all forces in vertical direction is zero summation of all forces in horizontal direction is equal to zero and all moments about a point is equal to zero these are the equilibrium equation determine structure are simply supported beam cantilever and three hinge arch etc and definition of statically indeterminate structure structure which can't be solved by using equation of statical equilibrium that's mean these three equilibrium equation are known as statically indeterminate structure so simply if we can solve a equation or solve a structure by statical equilibrium then it is statically determinate if we don't then it is indeterminate structure indeterminate structures are fixed beam continuous beam prop cantilever etc next determining the degree of indeterminacy the method of determining the degree of indeterminacy of the following structure beams truss loop or frame structure in this tutorial we going to discuss about beam degree of indeterminacy is equal to norm of unknown minus norm of independent static equilibrium equation beams for a coplanar structure there are at most three equilibrium equation of course we know that for each part so that if there is a total of n part and r force and moment reaction com components non equation is equal to 3 for each part so n part equation 3 let's sorry is draw a beam it is simply supported it is one part that is so 3n is equal to 3 into 1 that is 3 what is for the 3 because this structure have three equation that is summation of horizontal is equal to 0 summation of vertical is equal to 0 summation of moment is equal to 0 that is why is a 3 non equation is equal to 3 for each part this is the three equation for n part this is n n part if there is internal hinge it will be two part then n is equal to 2 so and the equation 
R is equal to 3N. If reaction, reaction means that is the reaction, reaction is equal to 3N, then it will be statically determined structure. And reaction greater than 3N, then it is statically indeterminate structure. Let me tell you again. If there are any structure, they have reaction. If it is it is hinge support, so there is two reaction, and it is raw support, so there will be one reaction. Now, R is for the reaction here, R force and moment reaction, R is for the reaction and the moments, there is no moment. So, it, it, here is two reaction, here is one reaction. So, reaction is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And known equation is 3 for one part. This is one part. So, 3n is equal to 3 into 1 is equal to 3. This is a known equation. So, if R is equal to 3n, that is 3, 3. So, it is determinate structure. It is determinate structure. If not, then it is indeterminate structure. Okay. If internal hinge are there, that is I, then total unknown will be R plus I. Reaction plus I. And there will be two component. If suppose there is, sorry, let's, it is something. It is internal hinge. It is raw support, it is hinge support. If there are internal hinge applied, there will be two part. 3n. n will be n value is 2. Then 3n is equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Okay. So this equation will be changed to this equation r plus i if r plus i is equal to 3n then it is statically indeterminate structure if r plus i greater than 3n then it is statically indeterminate structure now here is two example Now we know that it is hinge support, hinge support have two reaction and roller support have one reaction and no, there is no moment. So reaction value 1, sorry 2 and reaction value 1. So reaction that is R is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and 3 n 3 into n it is known equation in value is 1 because of there is one member only 3 we don't take the forces any forces we don't take any forces value of the forces sorry so r is equal to 3n that is 
both cases 3 is equal to 3 that is statically determinate structure okay in the next example here is one internal hinge for internal hinge i value is 2 i value is 2 and it is raw support so only one reaction and it is hinge support two reaction one two two so r is equal to one plus two is equal to three so r plus i is equal to two plus two sorry three plus two is equal to five and the known equation is equal to 3n n is equal to 2 because there is two part here is one part two part so 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so r plus i that is 5 is less than 3n that is 6 so static indeterminacy will be r plus i minus 3n that is 6 sorry 5 minus 6 is equal to minus 1 so it is statically determinate structure determinate structure okay so let's do some homework this is the homework one two three four and five let me tell you something this is fixed support this is roller support this is fixed support, roller support, roller support. Hinge support, roller support, roller support, roller support. Fixed support, internal hinge, internal hinge, and fixed support. For this member, this is fixed support, this is roller support, this is roller support. Okay. So that's it. That's how you calculate the indeterminacy degree of indeterminacy on in beams in the next tutorial i am going to discuss about trusses okay so thank you for watching if you have any problem comment on the video and of course um, complete the task and get back to me thank you